Hello, folks and professionals and students. Let's uh, try to understand some general understanding about notice period. This I have already explained in my uh, previous videos. I have done already a couple of videos on notice period. If you really want, you can get into that. And this is again important. I feel that's why I'm adding additional information. If you are from SAP background, especially from sales and distribution, you can try all these courses. I'm just providing these links below of uh, this video. If you are not a subscriber, you can subscribe my channel. Okay. So what is the topic today? So other reasons, other reason for notice period to increase or decrease in software or any SAP industry. Okay. Let's try to understand this today. The first thing, anytime, if company is merging, for example, uh, initially what happened, uh, one company group, you have a one mother company is there or parent company is there. Uh, for example, in Unilever, you have any sub subsidiary company, Unilever Finance, because of course, different domains. I'm just telling an example. So, I guess if you are merging, finance is having some notice period. So, for example, two months, and actually, Unilever, your consumer care is maybe three months. All other uh, group of companies having uh, one or two months like that. Okay. So they wanted to merge it when the merging is happened. Such a case is notice period increases. It depends on the demand, like, like you know, whether HR really wanted to sustain the employee and uh, what is the risk for their business depends on they're going to either increase or decrease the notice period, certain cases at the time of company merging or demerging. In the similar way, demerging. For example, if you take ITC industry. So I'm not talking about actual notice period of ITC. I don't know. I'm just giving an example. ITC has uh, what you call uh, uh, they have they they are having their own tobacco products and hotels and uh, as well as FMCG. Suppose they are merging hotels. Now a lot of budgets happen. So such a cases probably like you know hotels might have different notice period and your FMCG have different notice period. Such a cases also. So altogether. If any other sister concern company also with parent company merging and demerging or else it might be completely outside company. Company stakes selling. Okay, this is also interesting fact. Certain times company is in losses or else they wanted to expand their business or else they wanted to diversify the business. They need a money. Such as they will sell the stake actually. Okay, either loss or profit also they will sell the stake. When they sell the stake, certain percentage goes to another company. Certain times also they will decide and uh, HR policies are modified. Okay, notice period either increase or decrease will happen. Company new rules. Probably they think that, you know, they have finished a decade. Such a cases like, you know, initially they gave one month notice period. If you take Mindtree, TCS and NTT or else any other company, they used to have only two months notice period. Uh, certain times one month notice period and after that they, uh, because of their risk increases at the human resources, to retain and to sustain in the market to replace another resource minimum they're taking 90 days most of the time 90, i didn't find last 10 years notice period increase increased chances are so high compared with you know decreasing chances company sold out best example mindtree sold out to lnt that become lt mindtree that is probably in future they will change it to LNT. Such a case is notice period not changed. So it was 10 years ago, three months with LT Mindry also three months. So probably there is no change. Okay, certain times it might be one month. They got a small company. These companies will buy small, small companies, small, small pockets on different businesses. Such a case is they will try to adapt their parent notice period policy. Company acquisitions, that's what I told you, okay? Company sold out means it's sold by them. Acquisitions means it's uh, captured by another company. Both are similar manner. If you look at, uh, you know, uh, A to B, A versus B company's perspective, okay? Selling company and buying company. Your actions, negotiation are follow the same. These are the two only ways left with us. Okay, negotiation. For example, you don't have work. The technology not up to the mark. Still, they wanted to survive you in three months. HR told that, 
probably you can drop down papers, continue with the notice period. Certain cases you can negotiate. I wanted to leave early. Certain cases you can negotiate. It recently happened to one of my colleague actually. So they wanted to release as early as possible once they once he put down the papers. As per policy, notice period is three months, but the company is also HCL. I can name out no issues. So one he said, like you know, he sent email legal notice them so that HR and the company accept to continue. You should have these girls to handle, not only working in the company. Okay. And I follow the same. Suppose notice period is three months follow, two months is the same. How to negotiate? I have given already in my previous video about the techniques. And so for this thing, I would like to add one more point that was not covered in previous video. Like for example, if you take above like a company merging or demerging stakeholding, for example, you have to find out. For example, you joined uh, some five years ago or three years ago. Okay. Company notice period suddenly increased to three months. But actually, when you join the time, two months or one month or 45 days is your notice period. Still, you can go back to your HR or top management. You can tell that when you put down the papers, this is what my notice period is meant for. As per my HR letter, you can release me early as quick as, as possible. And second thing is that probably whatever the notice period they have increased or decreased, that won't applicable to you because you are an earlier employee. Certain times, this case also won't work. Okay, for example, um, a small company sold to a big company, big company notice period is three months, then they will bring, it, bring back to all employees as a common notice. We would like to increase the notice as three months. Such cases also, if you want to relieve suddenly in the middle of the notice period or something, you can negotiate or else they can deny also. It's up to the HR actually. Okay. So if you wanted to get these kind of inputs, please subscribe my channel. And if you're really interested in my courses, you can try all these things. I'm just providing these links below this video. Okay. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best. Have a great time. Thank you all.